Because I can't figure out a seat. <laughs> it should be easier than this. It should be. But Woody was touching it. It's true. It's true. So, yes. I feel like I have gone backwards about 10 years. So I remember. I'm going to go read a service manual and see if it has anything for Well, I remember yesterday me. when Woody, was, he has a bunch of color-coordinated Allen wrenches. Have you seen those? And no, Torx no. wrenches. He was putting them in the post trying to unscrew it. And I said, you know, that's threaded. And he was like, well, that would explain why none of these fit. No tools for Woody. No. <laughs> yeah, no tools. I think this is a good time to do to do shop talk. So, look at this. Broken ass seat, look at that, it won't even stay in my hand, it's so broken. Broken ass head bolts. So we've started noticing with our uh, performance builds, especially some of these higher compression units we're sending out, we're breaking head bolts. And the weird thing is, is it seems to be usually the same one. It's usually this guy, which is number three in the torque sequence. So what I did was, luckily, one of our awesome vendor partners, SNS, has come out with badass high strength head bolts that are actually reusable, but they've also changed the torque sequence a little bit. So the stock torque sequence is right on your screen right here. And as you can see, the first step is to tighten them in the sequence, which is one, two, three, four, to 20 to 30 pounds, back it off 360 degrees then go 9 to 11 pounds, then go 21 to 20 or 25 to 27 foot pounds, and then a 90 degree full swing. So when this started happening, got myself one of these fancy schmancy digital torque wrenches that has an angleometer built into it and will also tell you how many foot pounds of torque you're going at that angle. And what we found is by following Harley's torque sequence, you're putting up to 60 pounds of torque on one of these bolts. Now SNS on their reusable bolts doesn't recommend going, they recommend going to 45. Now this one is done because it's part of the sequence that I'm going to show you in a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. I like to run them down until they touch. Because everything's better if it touches. And as Dale Dobak once said, I'm so not a raper. Sweet. I'm so not a raper! Because as I'm going through this, and I think what's causing the pressure differences is as you're going at an angle and you're tightening it down, you're essentially cinching the head like this. So you're causing pressure in different parts of the head and it isn't necessarily being applied evenly. So SNS has changed that by doing their torque sequence in 10 pound increments instead of just a three step process or four step process. So first we're gonna go to 10 foot pounds. So here's number one, 10.1. Ten point oh. Now watch. Here's what's interesting. I'm gonna go back to number one that I did the ten foot pounds. It's at ten. Look, that one's only at seven now. Now it's at ten. But this one is not even moving at eleven and a half pounds. That one is also below ten. So just tightening them all to ten pounds, it's already off by over four pounds from this corner to this corner. Now I'm gonna go up to 20. Now, if I check them again, I'm only at 14, did you see that? It's almost a quarter of a turn to get back to 20. Same with this one. Go another quarter turn to get to 20 and then look at this one I'm at 22 on that one corner that seems to be at least in our findings the culprit and then I'm a quarter in I'm a quarter turn light on all three of these and this one is over by two pounds by the time I get done with the first actual sequence so this head is already tight 
And at the end of their sequence, when you go to 45 pounds, it says wait 15 minutes and then check them all to make sure they're 45. So that's all we're gonna do. And I did this one ahead of time so that we can do it immediately after this. But what I'm gonna do on this head is I'm going to do, I'm gonna take it to 25 pounds and then I'm gonna go 90 degrees and we're gonna see where in that 90 degree arc you hit 45 pounds on each one of these bolts. Because this, this is the most interesting part of what we've been doing. And we've been doing a lot of engines, so myself and Shane, we both have these torque wrenches and we've been experimenting with where you're actually coming in on your pressure in the arcs of the swing. So we'll start at 25 pounds. Okay, on the OEM sequence, that's it. I go 9 to 11, 25 to 27, and then a 90 degree arc. So we're going to do our 90 degree. So I've gone 30 degrees, and that's 33 foot pounds of torque. 40 degrees, 36. 50 degrees is 40. 43. So we're 46 foot pounds of torque at 70 degrees on this bolt. 50 degrees is 40 foot pounds of torque. 42. 44. 67 degrees is 45 foot pounds of torque on this bolt. Sixty-five degrees is forty-five foot-pounds on this bolt. I did this one the Harley way with the swing until I got the forty-five pounds. I didn't go the full ninety degrees. I just went to the forty-five pound recommendation SNS did. This head I previously tightened using SNS specs. <clears throat> so one of the things that they say to do in their instruction sheet is to wait fifteen minutes and then go back and check the torque and make sure they're consistent. So that's what we're going to do now. So these are all pretty consistent using SNS's method. And now we'll be right back and I'll check these. It's gonna be right here. And then I'm right here. And then I'm right here. And then I'm right here. And we're back. And I lost my torque wrench. Oh, here it is. It's amazing what happens when you start running around setting tools down in random spots. See Roy, he's our service manager. It's the first time he's ever seen a seat with a backrest. But he's like, what is this thing? I don't even understand this. I don't know how this goes together. I gotta call my mom. <laughs> first time with a seat? Yes. I remember my first seat. Yeah, yeah, I'm learning. It's gonna take a little while though. <laughs> All right, we're gonna check these now. Okay, that one's at 45. That one is at 46. <laughs> 45 and 45 so they're pretty consistent but as you can see not one of these went to 90 degrees to reach the desired 45 pounds so if you're going 90 degrees I'm sure it's fine with the uh, with stock applications and with the graphite gaskets that are in the stock type motor but you know with these performance engines is we're using the Kometic gaskets, often we're using 30,000 gaskets instead of the 42,000s. You know, these are the stock graphite gaskets that, that come in a stock engine. And I'm not sure if the method is designed more for this type of a gasket because it's got more squish and it allows for more play. Because obviously, these metal gaskets aren't gonna squish nearly as much as this guy. But regardless, with our performance motors, we're using SNS head bolts in every motor and we're tightening them to SNS specifications just because we don't want any more of this. Stay in school.